war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Braxo, for all your cleaning needs. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degrees... Grognack the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. And today's news... Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. Same. Oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. Nuka Cola, hmm. ice cold. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A plus. Hun. Well, look at you. How a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Stationed overseas are experiencing some unusual weather as well. On the island of Mamba Jiao, the nights are cold, unseasonably so for Southeast Asia. But for the 5th Infantry, that's as comfortable as an autumn jamboree. All the easier for our mechanized Hellcast to drive any Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning! 
vault calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Now, I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sir, Sean has been changed. But he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, 
If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You two, God follow me. All. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step this on the way. platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we had left a minute later... No, no, we don't, don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs okay. and through the door there. For you. All new residents, this please proceed in an orderly fashion. This Welcome way. home. May I... Excuse me. Hello there. Once we seal the just vault, we'll all so be getting good. to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. Step over to the May. Table. Take a seat. Email and... Oh, Welcome. Okay. Pick up a suit right over there. Right over there. Here you are. Head down. It's uh, down the hallway there. right Thanks. there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Hey. This way, please. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Sir? Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't how, make it? How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical it's items. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Excuse me. Just this way. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals, normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. This is the 
the one. Here. Open it. There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Malfunction in cryopod manual God. release override. Why would Vault do this? Giant roaches? What the hell?
Where is everyone? Is this all that's left? Nice. Coming back later for you. One get out?
To the world. The world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Back. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? What do you know, Codsworth? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, and I'm feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. <laughs> What's 
Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home for you. all by yourself. Nope. You seem like an okay guy. Okay then, let's stick together. Hey. Head over there.
strong. Like we're supposed to.
coming in there, and I'm gonna scan every last one of you. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? What the? I gotta go take a little walk. But I'm... <laughs> Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Maybe... Minutemen? Ah, nope. So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but... Huh. Things fell apart. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's old Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? What are ghouls? God damn wow. It. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Most uh, are just like you and me. Uh, that ain't they it. look pretty messed up and live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are hey. different. The radiations uh, rotted their nope. brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway. We figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But... Well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis. Tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they've picked the wrong fight. Good luck.
Bingo. Ma'am. One of what I expected dog meat we're fine in that little neighborhood. But oh, so much better. He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog meat's good at finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by you now. I saw it. You saw it? It's the Kems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. That's incredible. I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now. And right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I'm, I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you, it ain't a radar. <sighs> but I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Somebody up here! Here you are. Ah! Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my boy.
You okay? Fine, fine, Preston. Quit fussing. Hey. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Feelings mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time, out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working for nothing. I need more. Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. Not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? it can oh, hold on, turn out hold on. Worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So, Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. It'll be fine. Oh. oh. Okay. We need to keep moving. to the original Minutemen. I knew that was somewhere around Concord. That means this right here must be the Old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what I'm you're talking about, I'm glad you decided about, to come boss, with us. But I'm I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. 
Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. Good. Huh? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. 
Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you, really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Halen. Take Reese inside and bind his wound. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. Paladin dance. You ready to move? You ready to move out? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me. And try not to lag behind.
armed jet systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security, so we'll head into the front. Looks like we missed the party. You're making a foolishly hasty assessment. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out.
dance. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now and find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here. Watch our backs. Warning. Power loss detected. Engine core is offline. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fuel primed and standing by for command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Four. Three. Two. with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Oh my god, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Going down. Sensor anomaly. Style light form.
Paladin. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive and the transmitter's been secure. There's no need to scrutinize the details. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I don't know. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. Everyone's here, General. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Fort Independence, but the Minutemen always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. Maybe. Those walls could definitely use some work. I'll admit, it's seen better days. But the Minutemen have never been afraid of hard work. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side, and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Let's not overcomplicate this. Just get in there and hit them with everything we've got. If you say so. All right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position.
to focus on taking the castle back. Damn. Looks like they've been nesting. Hell yeah. Enough to take out these eggs, or they'll be back before we know it. Lurks like to hold up inside old buildings, so the walls are full of it. It looks that way. Here's how we're gonna play this.
Opening fire. done yet. The general and I are going to have a look at the radio to see what shape it's in. The rest of you, clear out any remaining Meyer Lurks or eggs you find. Let's go Once see I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Well, I guess it could be worse. See what you can do with it. I'm going to go see what else is left around this old place. Did safe out there. I've been watching the Minutemen men fall to pieces for so long, I just... This is really sad. Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. Only help our cause. Hey. Ah, there you are. Finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. Who are you? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minuteman. At least I was. Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. Joe Becker? Who's that? That's just sad. General Becker used to run the Minutemen. The last real leader we ever had. After he died, there wasn't anybody left with the guts and brains to pull things together. I'd still like to hear what you came to talk to me about. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Thought I'd come see the new general for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? Gunners have attacked one of our settlements. Please give them a hand if you are in the area. At least we're trying to help people. Can you say the same? Don't give me any attitude, Sonny. I've been a Minuteman longer than you've been alive. But I've heard some good things about what you've been doing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Now that I'm here, I can see you really need my help. Are you offering to rejoin? I guess I am. But first things first. I'm probably the only one who still remembers this. But the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. All of our best equipment was stored in there. Weapons, ammo, schematics, you name it. Come on, I'll show you. Ah, huh, good. Looks like it might still be intact. Door's still sealed. Bastion hasn't collapsed. Trick now is finding a way in. I hope you have an idea. Of course I do. If you can't go through, go around. Let's have a look at the Northeast Bastion. Tunnel leading from here to the armory. Hmm, 
tunnel's blocked by this rubble. We'll have to find some way to clear it.
Excellent. The armory is still intact. Everything we need. Just waiting for us. Reign of the crop. Schematics for building artillery. Artillery? Great big guns. Blow up our enemies from miles away. Any of this ringing a bell? All right. Grab that schematic and let's get going. Don't forget to grab some smoke grenades, too. Bye. Ah, looks like you've got everything we need. As soon as you get some artillery built, we'll do a test fire to calibrate it. Excuse me. Ah, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery here again. Now here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close. The range is impressive. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we better do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming. Keep your radio on and tuned to Radio Freedom so we can confirm we're ready. Gotta hand it to you, General. You really turned things around for the Minuteman. I never thought I'd see the day that the Minuteman had artillery support again. We should see about building them at all our settlements to expand our coverage. And Ronnie Shaw returns. She's something else, isn't she? What do you think of her? People like her. She comes across pretty hard ass. But she's one of the good ones. I'd heard stories about her from the old timers but I didn't know she was still around. The fact that she's come back to the Men and Men means we must be doing something right. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it, that can only help our cause.
Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft head, cop. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, you'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Hey there. Hey. Buddy, I gotta be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered. I think you stepped into the wrong place, sweetheart. You don't look like you need the memory den. Do you even know what we do here? No idea. What is this place? The name's kind of a big hint. Memories. We let our selective clients relive the past, and we don't accept just anyone. You're cautious. I respect that. But I think I can handle it, if you'll just give me a chance. I'm sorry. We have to be very selective, and we're just not looking for new clients now. Nothing's free. I know how it is. What if I paid a hundred caps up front? Persistence and money. Two things I love in a man. I suppose I can give you a trial run. Now, memories involving other people are easiest. Recent events involving loved ones, uh, does anything come to mind? I lost my son recently. Kidnapping. I'd do anything to see him again. A missing child. Oh, that's awful. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. But I think we can help you. All right, sit down in the lounger. Let's see what memory we can find. on this end. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis. Oh my god. Suspense. Nora! I can't watch this again. All computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. How could you be a part of this? How could you be a part of this?
This is the one. Here. Open it. I'm gonna kill you! I'll have you out of there in three, two, one. So, so sorry. If I had any idea that we were going to put you through that again, I would have said no. Those people kidnapped my son. I have to find them. Oh, I wouldn't even know where to start, honey. No, what, what you need is a detective. <laughs> I have a friend, Nick Valentine. He works out of Diamond City. Trust me, honey. He's the best. He can find anyone. Can't believe it. You look just like the sense. Institute. Short Follow the Freedom Trail. You know who kicked the ghouls out of Diamond City, right? That blowhard, Mayor McDonough. He'll get his one day. You watch. Hey, you. You like scary stories? Head up to Salem sometime. Take the scenic tour. Huh. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant Attack rolls round. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? Looking for work. Work, huh? Mm. I'll tell you what. I got reconnaissance needs. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Snoop it out and give me the word. I might be interested, but let's talk money, Hancock. Cut the bargain and shit. You know what I'm thinking? You get the standard payout of 200 caps. Take it or leave it. What else can you tell me about Pikmin Gallery? Nothing. That's why I'm paying you to go out there. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. Mayor Hancock? Hey, I don't mean to bitch, but aren't you supposed to be heading to Pikmin Gallery for me? Something else you need? Did I hear you talking about the Institute? You like my little speech? I do it every once in a while, in case they're listening in. I want those synth makers to know that good neighbor is off limits. No one gets replaced in my town. But hey, weren't we talking about your needs? What did you come here for? What's a synth? Don't tell me we have a pair of virgin ears. You just made my day. Synths are just like you and me. Only they didn't get created the natural fun way. No, they were built by the Institute. Some of the older ones are basically just robots. But the new models? Your own mother couldn't tell the difference. So that's why me and mine gotta stay extra special close to one another. Any slight change might be a clue that someone's been replaced. 
Anything else you need? What's your story, Hancock? My favorite subject. I came into this town about a decade ago. Had a smooth set of skin back then. While I was busy making myself a pillar of this community, I would go on these, like, wild tears. I was young. Any chems I could find, the more exotic, the better. Finally found this experimental radiation drug. Only one of its kind left, and only one hit. Oh man, the high was so worth it. Yeah, I'm living with the side effects, but hey, what's not to love about immortality? You're immortal? Well, not exactly. Ghouls just age really, really slow. Something about the rads, maybe? Oh, who knows? You're a hell of a risk taker, Hancock. Only have one life. Why not try it all? Anyway, did you need something else? Nothing right now. Cool, cool.
Find out what happened to the scouts who went missing up near the old art gallery. They're... they're dead, Seth. I I'm looking at a... a goddamn painting of Cal's body. Oh, God. What the hell did I do to him? Admiring my collection. I'm afraid it's not complete yet. Soon, though. Stay away from me, you psycho! Yes. Just like that. Hold that expression on your face. Sweet. You can hunt and torture our people to your heart's content. I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Man, you picked the wrong fight. Those people deserved worse than death. Why did they want you so badly? <laughs> A small disagreement. They objected to my hobby of collecting their heads. Let me repay you. What did you have in mind? A gift. Nothing more. If you visit my house again, Look deep within my painting, Picnic for Stanley, and you will find my gratitude. You'll need this. Find anything useful? Hell yeah.
apologies. You ain't one of them diamond city types, are you? You call that a gun? How's my little scout doing? You find out what's happening at Pikmin Gallery? God, it was awful. Pikmin was a serial killer. He was using dead bodies for his... art. Oh, seriously? That's messed up. Even for this town. I'll put the word out to avoid that place. Good work. You ended up in the abyss, but you crawled back in one piece. Here's your money. 